Welcome. This video will demonstrate centrally managing and deploying ZETNA policy packages using the Hillstone Security Management Platform, HSM. A ZTNA policy is a set of rules that enables secure connectivity for remote users to private resources. The policy achieves this by using a range of security controls. This approach helps to reduce the attack surface, thus mitigating the risk of cyber threats. A ZTNA policy package is a collection of policies. The purpose of grouping them is to automate and orchestrate the deployment of these policies instead of doing it individually. On HSM, we can create and deploy ZTNA policy packages and centrally distribute them to the next generation firewall device working as a ZTNA gateway. Once the ZTNA gateway device has received the policy package from the HSM, it implements or updates the policies. ZTNA user's client connection will be evaluated from three angles to verify if it complies with the following aspects. User identity. Endpoint. And schedule. The result will depend on compliance or failure of the conditions. It is straightforward to create and deploy policy packages. In the ZTNA management user interface, go to ZTNA policy and click new. Give a name to the package and a description if needed. In rule configuration, click on create now to start creating the rules that will be applied to the package. Here we name the rule and select the users of interest. Create endpoint conditions, also known as tags. For this demonstration, we will use the previously created tag windows and Avira. When requesting to connect to the ZTNA gateway, the user endpoint must use Windows 11 as OS and run the Avira antivirus process. Once the user identity and endpoint conditions have been set, we must define the resources to be granted. Selected application resources will be available only for the previously chosen users and no one else. It is also possible to set up an access schedule. For example, if some resources should be accessed only within working hours, we can create for them a Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. schedule. We will create a second rule for this demo that will concede access for demo user 2 to a specific resource under the same conditions and requirements established for the first demo rule. Once all needed rules are set, we will define how they must be positioned and on which devices. We can select all the linked devices to which we want to send the package. For this demonstration we will deploy it to our virtual firewall B. We can verify the implementation. Go to the ZTNA Gateway Device User Interface. As shown here, both rules were successfully deployed. To verify compliance and what resources are accessible, we will access using the ZTNA client on an endpoint. Once user identity has been verified, three possible results depend on endpoint posture and time schedule compliance. On the first example, it will be compliant with the three aspects, allowing the user to gain access to the ZTNA portal and to the assigned resources. In the second example, we will turn off the antivirus which is an endpoint security posture condition. As expected the user can access the ZTNA portal, but the assigned apps are not available. If the user clicks on the information button will receive customized information about how to fix and gain trusted access. Finally, if the access request is not compliant with the scheduled time, users will gain access to the ZTNA portal but cannot even look at the assigned resources. Thank you for watching Hillstone ZTNA Solution Demo.